Yo, what's going on, fam? It's your boy, Anthony O'Neill, and welcome back here to the table where you guys already know we keep it real, relevant, and relatable. And today, y'all, I'm pumped. I am so pumped uh, because... I just, I just love what my team got going on, man. And today we're going to talk about some things that I think is going to bless your life. But before we get there, I got two quick things for you. I want to make sure that you are part of the family these two ways. Number one, I want you to hit that subscribe button, all right? And make sure you hit that bell because I'm telling you right now, we got something special coming for you. You know, some, some, I, I, I can't say too much. But we got something special for you. Then I want you to text right now. Text the word A O A. O, oh, A, O, oh, to 33789. And you're going to really just join my family. And I'm sending special things only through that system. So you got to text A, O, 33789. So I'm telling you right now, I'm working on something special. And this thing that I'm talking about is going to help you reach your goals. It's going to help you get out of debt. It's going to help you get into your career field. It's going to help you become a better individual. So text the word AO33789. I drop all that in the description below. But let's get straight into why your boy is here this morning. Listen, here's the truth. Can we just be real? Well, this is the AO show. Um, 2020 has been a crazy year. Can, can, can I get an amen? Amen. <laughs> Listen, it's been a crazy, it's been an emotional, um, it's been an upsetting year. Many of us have started with our goals for this year, and a lot of them we could not and did not and have not accomplished. You know, some of y'all are ready to turn off the year 2020 and jump straight into the year 2021 to get this mess over. Uh, but I want you to really sit down and think about, you guys, what can we do the last quarter of this year to be effective, to be productive, and to set us up to go into 2021 with, a, with, with an amazing start? And I know you're probably thinking, like, hey, yo, literally, <laughs> I, saw the, I saw the post you did, you know, a couple of months ago talking about the first quarter doesn't define uh, the next quarter. And, and, and I mean that. And then I came back and said, hey, the second quarter doesn't find the next quarter. Uh, but let's just be real. I mean, it, it's been an interesting year. And so today what I want to do is I want to give you three things, three things you need to do this fall to help us transition into the year 2021 with a better start. Now, I'm going to be real with you right here on the show. I don't know what the heck uh, January of 2021 is going to look like. But I do know this. If we can just do certain things it will look better than today. So let's jump straight into what's the very first thing you need to do this fall. And I'm going to go straight here. I've never talked about this on my show, but I'm talking about it today because it's your boy, A.O. And here's the very first thing. Get registered to vote. <laughs> yep. I want you to get registered to vote. You see, successful people, productive people, uh, wise people contribute to their communities and they vote, okay? So I need you to get registered to vote where you are living now, okay? Maybe you moved this year or have never reg registered to vote. Listen, you guys, it's not too late. If you are hating of what's going on in your community or if you're hating what's going on in the country, do something about it. You don't deserve to complain if you don't vote. You don't have time to be booing. You don't have time to be talking about this candidate, that candidate. You don't have time to be complaining. No, what you need to do is put your power to voting. All right? Vote, vote, vote. You might not feel like your vote counts, but y'all, let's be real. It does. Listen to me. It does. You might not like any of the candidates, but you still need to vote. You might not think how voting impacts your life and your money, but y'all, it does. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to tell you who to vote for because who I'm voting for is none of your business. But as an American citizen, I will be voting. As an American citizen, as a black individual who loves America, who I am so grateful to be in the land of the free, I'm voting. Because there are some things that I do not like. And I 
want to put my mouth to work. And the best way I can make noise is by voting. And here's the thing, okay? You might not think how you vote impacts the country or how it impacts your community, but you need to know what you believe and why. I told you before, I'm not going to tell you what to do, but I am going to tell you that you need to vote. I want you to do your own research based on what you know or don't know and vote on what you believe. During this voting season, I want you to tune out your friend's opinion, cut off CNN, cut off uh, Fox News, cut off social media for a while, jump on Google, and I really, really want you to really get out there and to learn what you should be learning, all right? There are a lot of websites out there that will help you learn, all right? And here's a few I want you to look into, and we're going to put these in the description below as well. So I want you to check out isidewith.com to learn how your beliefs align with candidates in order to make an informed decision, all right? I want you to check out ontheissues.org to know where your candidates stand on these particular issues. And lastly, I want you to rock with rockthevote.org to find out all the information you need to vote in your state, all right? So I side with dot com on the issues dot org and rock the vote dot org. All right. So listen again. I personally don't care who you vote for. I only care if you vote. If you do not vote, I'm going to say it here. Be quiet. Don't complain to nobody. Don't say what you don't like about this individual. If you did not vote, I really wish I could say something else right now because it's a real show. But I want you to be quiet. But vote. Go to those three websites. And I don't care if you're 19. I don't care if you're 21. I don't care if you're 55 watching this. You're not too young and you're not too old. We all should be using our American citizen rights to vote and to help our country become a better country. Number two, number two, after you vote, all right, I want you to financially plan, let me say this in the mic, for the holidays, okay? Your birthday may be coming up here in the last three, four months of the year. We already know that Halloween is coming up. We already know that Thanksgiving is coming up. We already know that Christmas is coming up. And you guys, we already know New Year's is about to be right around the corner, all right? So don't get stuck at the last minute with a lot of things you want to do with your money during that time, okay? When this happens, that's when you fall back into debt. That's when we start using credit cards. That's when we start borrowing money and doing payday loan advances. That's when we start going to these buy here, pay here type situations. No, okay? Christmas is not a surprise. Thanksgiving is not a surprise. New Year's is not a surprise. It happens the exact same time every single year. So what do you got to do? You got to make a budget, you guys. You have to make a budget for these last three, four months for your birthdays if you got some coming up, for the holidays that are coming up. And inside of that budget, I want you to create a sinking fund, okay? Now, I know you're saying, Anthony, hey, yo, whoa, 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 what the heck is a sinking fund? Listen, check this out. A sinking fund is a separate savings that you use for any expenses you have coming up, all right? It's a little less than three months till Christmas. So if you know you need $600 for the holidays, if you know you're going to see mama, grandmama, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your aunties, if you know you're going to turn up on New Year's, Go on ahead and start setting aside, let's say, $200 a month or whatever you may need to enjoy the holidays. Now, I'm not saying I want you to get on the budget and don't have fun. No, what I am saying is this. We know it's coming. Prime example, every single year, um, I take my family um, in California, my California family, so that's my biological mother, stepfather, uh, my two siblings and their spouses and their children. Um, I personally uh, rent out a very nice home uh, just because I just believe in bringing our family together. Um, and so that's something that I actually added to my budget actually as of April, April of this year, uh, because I spent a lot of money on it. And I just want to 
just really enjoy my family, see my nephews, see my nieces, and all of us up underneath the same roof. And y'all, my family is a straight up Christian family. We get together and we we singing Christmas songs and we singing uh, gospel, old school hymns, and we're eating together. We're taking pictures with my mom and we're just really having a good time. And I look forward to that every single year. But I don't wait until November to set that money aside to pay for it, no. I started back in April, just setting money aside. So that way, when it comes to me, I'm not stressed, all right? I'm not stressed. The point is that you need to start thinking about and planning for the holidays right now. Because it's coming, all right? It is coming. And if you're new to budgeting and you don't even know where to start, I want you to try Ramsey Plus. There is a free trial just because you're connected to your boy. All right. And so I'm going to drop that link below. I want you to check it out. Do not go into the holidays. Let me say this one more time. Do not go into the holidays without a plan on how you're going to spend your money. You see, where there is no vision, where there is no plan, that's where people perish. That's where our money perishes. Speaking of that, that's my little sister. She's calling me right now. Hold on a minute. Betty Bet, I got you on speakerphone. You're on my show. Can I call you back? Okay. <laughs> All right. Love you, sis. Peace. Love you, too, bro. That's my little sister. That's my little sister. My, my beautiful chocolate baby nephews and niece. Um, but again, don't go into the holidays without a plan. I want you to enjoy it. I want you to enjoy your family. I want you to enjoy the season. But I also want to make sure when you get out of the season, you're not hurting financially, and you did not rack up any debt. Here's the last one. I'm going to live here for a little bit. So number one, you guys, what is it? Get registered to vote and vote. Number two, plan and prepare for the upcoming holidays. And here's the last one. I want you to finish 2020 strong so we, you and I, can start 2021 stronger. All right? Now, simply, it is time for us to reflect about what we did do and what we didn't do this year and ask ourselves, well, why didn't we achieve what we set out to achieve and what can we do for the rest of this year to possibly achieve it or what should we be doing next year, all right? So it's time to stop. Let me say this right now because some young like, well, COVID messed me up and COVID did this. Listen, COVID is real, all right? COVID uh, prevented me from making some money as well this year. COVID impacted my family. COVID just has has jacked up everyone in the world. I don't care if you make $10,000 a year or $10 million a year. Everyone felt the impact. But it's time for us to stop blaming COVID for everything that happened to us in 2020. Because here's the truth. Some of the things that have impacted us had nothing to do with COVID. It had everything to do with the decisions we made. Yeah, I said it, all right? COVID, yes, impacted some things. But before COVID, what decision did you make in January with your money that if you would not have made that decision, you would be in a little better situation today? So we can't blame COVID for everything, all right? It's time to start taking responsibility for our life. And look at me. I'm not saying for your life. I'm not putting everything on you because this is the this is the table. Your boy keeps it real. So there are some things that I could have done better this year as well. So this is you and I. We are family. So I don't want you to think I'm the only talking to you. I'm talking to you and myself. So together, over these next three months, we're going to look back at our goals. We're going to look back um, at our vision and see what can we still achieve this year? All right? There is still time to reach some of your money goals. If you're working a debt snowball and you're making all your minimum payments and all your debt, what's that smallest one? If it's a $500 credit card, you've got enough time to pay that one off. Now, you may not finish all your debt this year, and I totally understand that, but y'all check this out. You can still get one. One done. Maybe two. There is still time to get in shape, lose some weight, get that six-pack, get that body right and tight. 
But there's still time to get up every single morning, hit the gym. There's still time to get out there and to run. There's still time to change your diet. You can do a lot in 90 days when it comes to your health and your body. There's still time to read a book once a month and to grow your business, your mind. Because you all know every single time I get a chance, I tell you our mind is our number one asset. It's our number one asset. So listen, there's still time. Cut off Netflix for a while. Cut off, cut off Hulu for a while. Cut off Disney Plus for a while. Cut off, cut off distractions. Instead of for falling asleep with your phone in your pocket, instead of for falling asleep, you looking at the TV, instead of you falling asleep gossiping about what she did, what she didn't do, what he did, what he didn't do. No, put something into your mind. Read a book. Listen to a podcast. Do something. There's still time, brothers. Because he who finds a wife finds his best thing. There's still time to ask that lady out on the date. And I ain't gonna front. I asked somebody out on the date. <laughs> yes, I did. Yes, I did. <laughs> There's still time to make new friends, quality friends. Remember, we want four quarters instead of 100 pennies. We want quality people around us. Y'all check this out. There is still time to grow and to develop a quality and a peaceful and a joyful relationship with Jesus Christ. I know some of y'all who watch my show are like, man, Anthony, y'all was talking about Jesus. Always talking about tithing. I sure am. I and mean, if you don't like them, you, you don't like me. So you can unfollow me. You can unsubscribe from your boy. Because I am not perfect. Jesus is still working on me. He's still working on my mouth. He's still working on my mind. And so listen, um, I, I'm not sitting here saying that I'm perfect. But I would definitely sit here and say Jesus Christ is the head of my life. And I believe that there is still time for you and I both to get closer to Jesus in the year 2020. How do we do that? We should be reading our word. How do we do that? We should be praying. How do we do that? We should be giving. How do we do that? Anthony, we should be listening more to him. We should be loving our neighbors no matter the color of their skin. How do we get closer to Jesus Christ? We should be trying to live like Christ. We can never be Christ. We can never be like Christ, but we should be striving to love our neighbors. We should be striving to be good stewards of our resources. We, we, we should be striving to live out the purpose that he has given all of us. There's still time this year. Now, now, now is the time to start thinking about 2021 and make our goals and systems for the year. I really want you to spend these next two months, right up until like December, and start asking yourself, what are you going to do next year when it comes to your faith? Uh, what are you going to do next year when it comes to growing your mind? Uh, what are you going to do next year to taking care of your mental and emotional health? What are you going to do next year to grow better in healthier relationships? What are you going to do better? What are you going to do better uh, to lower your expenses what are you going to do better to get out of debt? What, what are you going to do next year? If you're a father or a parent watching this, what are you going to do next year to be a better parent? If you're married, if you, uh, what are you going to do better to be a better spouse? If you're an employee, what are you going to do next year to be a better employee to possibly get the pay raise or the promotion that you want? If you are an employer, what are you going to do next year to attract thoroughbreds for your company. What are you going to do? Because if you think there's nothing you should be doing, you're wrong. Don't wait till January to start thinking about the year 2021. No, go into January psh, on fire. On fire. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, January, I can't say what it is right now, but my team and I will be working on something dope. 
something dope that's going to help you start this thing on fire, which is why I want you to text AO to 33789. Because when you text AO to 33789, you're going to have first dibs on anything that I put out. Because I want my family to reap the rewards of being connected to me before anyone else in the world. So this means new books, new podcasts. I'm, I'm even thinking about dropping just special podcasts only for my tribe. So you got to text the word AO, AO to 33789. Because this year, y'all, tell you, man, it's been a heck of a year. It's been a heck of a year. I've cried this year. Um, I felt like giving up on certain things this year. Um, I've had to have some real, real, real good conversations with my therapist. Some real, real good conversations with my, um, my Lord and Savior. You know, COVID taught me that I have some growing up to do. I have some maturing to do in certain areas. And that's, while that was tough, I get it. And I'm looking forward to what comes the next three to four months and what comes next year. And so those three things I'm focusing on this year. I I am actually uh, moving uh, relocating from Columbia, Tennessee, and I just purchased a real nice townhome uh, in downtown Nashville. So I got I to gotta register to vote in the city of Nashville now. And I'm honestly going to get online and just really do some more learning about the local candidates in my particular city. And then, you know, hey, let's just be real. Uh, we got Trump and Biden running. I'm going to jump on there and I'm going to learn a lot more about what both are saying. And um, I'm going to make the best decision that I feel comfortable doing for myself. Um, And I will not vocalize what I do and why I did it. And you shouldn't either. Because who you vote for is none of my business. I just want to know, did you vote? And then, oh, after that, holidays. Let's enjoy the holidays. Let's have a good time. I am. I'm thinking about having a Christmas party up on my rooftop with my team. And so I I, I got a budget for that. And then also, I got to get with my team and start dreaming for 2021. So, it's your boy Anthony O'Neill right here on the table. And y'all know me, man. We keep it real. We keep it re- relatable. And we keep it relevant. And and I love this show. And I love you all. Because you all keep it real <laughs> with me always. So, I love you all. I'm going to see y'all next week on Monday. Same time, every single week. And y'all have a blessed one. Peace out.